Today we're going to talk about having a two-week emergency supply of food and non-food. And this video is made not to panic you. It's to reassure you and to help you be calm and be prepared if you need to stay home for two weeks. This could be because of a virus. This could be because of the economy. This could be because of a loss of a job. You know, a natural disaster. This could be for anything. But I want to share with you what my family is doing if we need to be home for two weeks. So this video is not if there is no water. This video is not if the power goes out. This is if we still have power. But if you were in a situation where you needed things for two weeks and you know that there's not gonna be water, definitely stock up on water. FEMA and the Red Cross recommend that you have 72 hours worth of food and essentials. This is because if there was a situation where it is bananas outside because of a storm, tornadoes. Do you really want to leave your house and go trekking to try to get these supplies? No, you already have them on hand. So how much food will you need? Look at your situation. How much a day do you spend on food for your family? Take that number and multiply it by seven. This is how much food you will need for a one week supply. And then you can gradually expand that to two weeks and then to longer food storage. So one mama asks, you know she has a newborn what can I do if I have a newborn and this is a great question if you have any children very young children I would stock up on their diapers okay if they do pull-ups good nights diapers wherever stage your children is if they use any of that I'd grab an extra box at the store what is going to last you for two weeks you don't need to um, hoard basically I'm gonna be honest Okay, so for babies, also look at their formula. If you're not nursing, how much formula do you use in two weeks? Are you gonna need to grab a couple of the big guys of formula? I've been out of this stage for quite a while, so I, I couldn't tell you, um, but grab what you need and um, have that on hand. I know formula is expensive, do what you can but it's gonna be okay. Also, go ahead and grab your children some Motrin and Tylenol. Um, you can, if you have babies, of course, get them the infant Tylenol and Motrin, um, but in, children in general, get them some Tylenol and Motrin. In case they do come down with a fever, it is flu season, and what we're looking at is a flu, and this is something that you probably already have in your home, but maybe go grab another box of each so you have that on hand. Prescriptions. Do you have enough of your prescriptions if you needed to be home for two weeks and couldn't go out and were able to get those, especially if you're on any heart meds? We did pick up a few cold meds, cold and med things. Um, one of our children does have, not asthma, but has a hard time breathing sometimes. So we made sure that we were able to get um, him some of those things. It is flu season anyway, and we should be having him on hand. All right, I do want to talk about what if you can't afford right now to go and get the food and the things that you need for your family. Uh, this is where community comes into play and family. Do you have a plan? Do you have a family plan? Let's say your city or town says, we're gonna do a two week in home situation, okay? Just so this passes and we can get a handle on things. Who are the people you wouldn't mind being with for a couple of weeks? Maybe put a game plan together where you could be together in one location, one home. And that way you can pull in together your, your supplies, okay? I have gotten a lot of questions on this with having a very small budget or, or not enough money or how am I going to do this? Talk with your community, see what sort of plan that you could put together to be able to bunker down together for two weeks, enjoy each other's company and share and bring and work that way. What I am doing for my family is I have been meal planning for two weeks. I have a lot going on in my freezers, you guys. If you're new to my channel, I have a big freezer that I store a lot of meat. We go in on a cow every year with family. I have ground beef, I have steaks, I have roasts, beef stew meat and all of that. I also store freezer meals. So this is what I'm doing. I am looking at what I already have in the home and created a meal plan. If you wanna make freezer meals with it, great. If you don't, then cook as you go. So we decided we're gonna focus on 
protein and vegetables. We got a few bags of frozen chicken. I already had a few bags already in our freezer, but we wanted to create some meals and freezer meals with this. So we grabbed a few bags of chicken and a few bags of frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables, they get picked at their peakness. They flash freeze them. All their nutrients are there. So my number one go-to you know, is frozen besides canned. Cabbage I have found to be the most forgiving vegetable. It's so versatile. Don't wash it until you're ready to use it. Try to keep it in a hydrated drawer if you can in your refrigerator. You could do a lot with cabbage. Handle it with care. Bruising is going to seriously shorten the life. A cabbage can last anywhere up to two months. And onions have a hefty shelf life as well. On the counter, they'll last over a month up to six weeks in the right conditions in a dark, dry place with um, good air circulation. Same as your potatoes. Citrus fruits do really well. Smaller citrus fruits like lemons and limes tend to last a fair amount of time, probably about a couple of weeks on the counter. Oranges tend to last around the same amount of time. If you guys remember my bags of oranges and grapefruits that I bought from Sam's Club weeks ago, I have a couple left still out on my counter and they're doing great. Whole fresh carrots last around four or five weeks. Just depends on the condition they are when you buy them. Squash is a great vegetable to have on hand. It can actually last months, like up to three months, depending on the condition that it's in. I did find a list online. Here's some things that you can have on hand for your food storage. Rice beans, canned meat, canned fruit, canned vegetables, powdered milk, cereal, oatmeal, peanut butter, pancake mix, honey, pasta, spaghetti sauce, salt, oil, coffee or tea, spices and condiments, nuts such as mixed nuts and packaged meats. One of the stores here in my area, Macy's, perfect timing, they decided to have a case lot sale. I went and I looked in my food storage room to see what I was low on and then I went and did their case lot shopping. I went and I grabbed some chicken stock. I grabbed another box of green beans. Now, in a lot of my recipes that I use, my go-to recipes, I use canned green beans, our shepherd's pie. Some of our vegetable soups call for the green beans, so I stocked up on those. I like to have pineapple on hand in our food storage. We have a few fun recipes that call for pineapple, so I didn't spend a whole lot. Um, this is my receipt from Macy's. I did, um, let's see, I ended up spending $88. I did grab two packages of crackers because um, we are running low, and the bulk stores right now around where I am are like out of everything. Oh my gosh. But I wanted to have crackers on hand because it is flu season. I wanted crackers in the home. Oh, I did buy another bag of flour because my canister of flour in our pantry is running low and I wanted to fill that up for baking. I bought some apples. If you get apples where they're really crisp and hard, they're gonna last you for two weeks. So I grabbed some Honeycrisp apples. Um, they were for $1.99 a pound, that's a great deal. <clears throat> it, it won't cost you a lot. I, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna cost you either $100, the most 200 But this depends on the size of your family and what you're buying. We're good to go. We really don't need anything um, if our town says stay in for about two weeks. But I'm gonna share with you what I have on hand just to get the juices flowing for you, okay? Here is a package of toilet paper. This I got at Costco. Now I got this, gosh, weeks ago, weeks ago before this whole thing went down um, and we've used one package okay so this is gonna last me a while we did not go out and get more toilet paper Derek did try when he went to Costco the end of February since he was there buying his office chair he's like I'll grab another thing of toilet paper gone not happening and we were like that's fine look at this okay we still have tons of toilet paper we're not even gonna go try right now to get more. We don't need to, we're gonna be fine. I did go and grab some disinfected wipes to keep the doorknobs and surfaces clean. You should be cleaning your home anyway, but <laughs> I did wanna wipe down um, some surfaces. I grabbed one of those. Of course, have some fun snacks on hand if you're in the home for two weeks, but if you have all the baking goods, bake up some treats. Of course, pasta, I wanted to share that with you. But here's my pantry, you guys. Oh, and since I did this makeover, I do have a video on this when I did the kitchen reorganization. You guys, this pantry has stayed clean. It has stayed clean. This system is working for me. So if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. All right, so I already have on hand some nuts and quinoas and, um, 
this this is the amount of rice that I have right now I would like to go get another bag of rice but think about in the last two weeks already that has passed in your family H have you eaten rice like we haven't touched rice in two weeks I think we're gonna be fine okay think of stuff like that I would like to have another one on hand now I do have rice in my long-term food storage if I need to crack a barrel open, I can. Okay, so I've got plenty of pancake syrup. Of course, peanut butter, you guys. I have lots of peanut butter. You'll see it downstairs. Um, oils. I did want to get another canola oil. Another canola oil. This is what I bake with. This is how much I have left. I tried to get some at Sam's Club, and they were gone. Just because I need more oil. <laughs> and I couldn't get my hands on it because... Life is crazy in the stores right now. It's a little bananas. I probably could go get a couple of more onions. I use a lot of onions, but like again, we're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. I do have oatmeal for cereal. I have the regular oats and a little bit of quick oats. And if I need to crack a barrel in my long-term food storage, we can. I really don't want to, but we'll see how it goes. So you can see how I am low on the all-purpose flour. So I did grab another bag that's down in the food room. And I didn't get any more sugar. We're good on sugar. And this is the pancake mix that's just water. We're fine there. I don't need to grab any of that. You know, think again. What do you eat in two weeks? What are you already preparing for your family? Do you really need to go out and get a ton of stuff? I don't know. Look at your situation. We have lots of snacks here. I have potatoes down here. Um, maybe another bag of potatoes, but I think we're going to be okay in that situation. Here's all our baking needs, powders and stuff here. I'm going to be okay for two weeks. The only thing that I wanted was more, more oil. Um, especially when I bake breads and stuff, I need oil. So I am going to go back out and try to get my hands on some oil. All right. Also think of garbage bags, short-term and long-term food storage. You know, um, do you have enough dish soap and dishwashing liquid? This is a normal buy that we just did from um, Sam's Club. We were running low on and we got these big guys. So I have got family coming into town. I'll be doing lots of dishes. The wedding is coming. So I need garbage bags and this stuff anyway. But think about having, do you have enough garbage bags for the garbage that you're going to accumulate in three months storage or, you know, your two week thing. Okay, here is my food storage room. This stuff here needs to get put away. This is from when I redid my pantry and notice that some foods I did not need to store upstairs that they could be kept down here on the shelves. Okay friends, you do not need a system like this right away. This is something you're gonna build towards. I have some website links for you down below. I have a link down below for a website. There's an incredible lady named Valerie who has created some awesome systems to help you build a food storage every week so when you go shopping you could pick up a couple of this and a couple of that so it's not so overwhelming and draining on your budget and this is how we have done this this right here does not expire on me and if it does your canned goods could go another two years um past that first expiration date so everything i use here and we consume all the time this is our go-to. I shop my pantry. When things are on sale, I grab them, grab a couple extra, put it down here. So I shop my pantry. That, that's why I say store what you eat and eat what you store, okay? So I rotate whenever we get something new. I bring things forward. So this would come forward and the new cans would go in the back, okay? So if you guys just want an idea, I'll give you a little glimpse. Um, we have coconut milk and almond milk. These are things that we use in our smoothies. So I didn't go back out and grab more because look, we're okay. We're okay, I don't need to go grab more. I have some juice boxes for the kids and this is something to have on hand. You know, things for the kids that sugar, so I grabbed juice boxes. I recently did pick up some Gatorades. We like to have that on hand. We have boys that play sports. 
and yet again it is flu season peanut butter peanut butter is a good protein to have on hand I would definitely recommend for your two weeks if you don't have any peanut butter to get yourself some peanut butter also a great source of protein is like canned chicken canned beef but we love canned tuna fish we could definitely make up some tuna fish sandwiches you can make your own bread if not go grab yourselves a few loaves of bread for that will last you for two weeks put it in your freezer and when you need it you can take it out so you could just see here we have like barbecue sauces and salt and up here I have some cereal pasta pasta is a good thing to have on hand it lasts a long time so I have a bin here full of pasta a little bit of mac and cheese I'm not running out to buy more mac and cheese but I have taco shells I have stuffing mixes for um, our stovetop chicken casserole and that's on the menu plan for this week down here I have sugars like powder sugar and brown sugar but all over here I mean I think I shared a lot of this with you on my food room tour when we built it in the new house you can click on that but I have like here here's the chicken broth that I just bought at that Macy sale because this is what I had left right here and these con two containers right here so I knew I wanted to get more of that but having things on hand like spaghetti sauces for your pasta some beans you can make tacos with these burritos um, soups I have canned tomatoes okay here is our freezer in the garage and it is packed full right now <laughs> But I have shrimp on hand, beef stew meat. This is where we keep our cow. Um, there's quite a lot in here happening right now. But here's the bag of chicken that Derek got at Costco and another bag of chicken. So I'm gonna be making some freezer meals. Um, we have frozen broccoli here and then a medley, broccoli florets here. And then he did buy a medley. I think it's under there, you guys. <laughs> um, but I do have a couple of freezer meals in here as well. I am eating, we are eating the freezer meals that we make. They're in our meal rotation. It just saves me a lot of time working uh, from home where I can use that time editing and dinner is already made. So like here is the chili that we made the other night in that slow cooker video. This is the leftovers, put it in two containers and they're in here. Uh, I already have some frozen bread on hand just in case um, but this is great to take out the night before next morning have uh, French toast so I have lots of meat in here I have lots of roasts so I really haven't bought a roast in a long time I don't start buying meat until I use up everything in here of course so there's a lot going on in this freezer right now the biggest thing right now you guys is meal plan what I am doing is just preparing some freezer meals and of course I'm gonna take you guys along but stay calm all will be well if you don't have a plan make a family plan maybe get together with a sibling or grandparents if you need to bunker down together and pull in your resources do so but there is definitely ways to help you on a small budget but my biggest tip for you is just to meal plan and get those things on hand i hope you're all doing well stay safe don't panic all will be well and thank you so much for watching and the next video will be a three month food storage supply i'm going to be sharing with you our big barrels and what we're doing um also i'm going to be doing a separate q a video for you because i've gotten a lot a lot of questions so stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye.